Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to answer this question. You have a lot of uh, tasks uh, sitting in a control control flow pan. You want to group them together. Which container can help uh, to group them together? So let's uh, go to SSDT or builds whatever you have according to the version of SSIS uh, installed on your system. Uh, let's bring some of the tasks. I'm going to bring a data flow and another data flow. And then I'm going to bring uh, execute uh, SQL task. So the number of tasks uh, in your package, uh, they depend upon your requirement. So sometimes the requirement can be very simple and you might use only one data flow. And you might use one data flow and one execute, execute SQL task. And uh, sometimes your requirement is complex and uh, you will be using maybe 20 data flow tasks or 100 data flow tasks and use some other tasks as well. So you have these tasks. Uh, uh, sitting in your control flow pan and you want to group them. So how you can do it? Sequence container is a, a container that can group them. One advantage to use the sequence container, we can use the presence constraint with the sequence container. Let's assume that I have these two tasks and I drag them into se sequence container and I want to run them in parallel. Um, so I don't need to connect them. That's fine. If any of these uh, task fail, I do not want to run the next task or set of task. If I will want to set of task together, I want to have another sequence container. And then I can copy all of them in this sequence container. So if I don't like uh, to have all those tasks or my requirement changes, so I can always uh, drag the, the uh, task out of the sequence container, that's possible. And now let's connect this first sequence container with the second one. So what we want to do, if this uh, entire sequence container with both tasks complete successfully, we want to run this one. If any of them fails, we do not want to run this one. So that's what uh, right now it is. Uh, this uh, sequence container is if it, it is on a certain success the presence constraint. So the both of uh, these tasks has to be completed successfully to run the next one. So that's the one way to uh, create your transactions uh, uh, to uh, to control your flow of execution and uh, you can group uh, these tasks in uh, uh, w one of the sequence container and uh, create the functionality say okay they they these five uh, uh, tasks or four, four tasks uh, they are for one uh, uh, functionality uh, they are uh, there to truncate the tables they are there to um, create store procedure they are there uh, to load the uh, staging tables and the next one is uh, okay my lookup data will be happening in this uh, task and whatnot so you can use the sequence container and the presence constraint between them the sequence container only do not uh, it doesn't have to have uh, the present constraint between the containers. You can also have the present constraint uh, set between sequence container and the task. In uh, SSIS 2012 and 14, we have another kind of container. I will not say it container, but it's a different way to group the tasks. Let's say we have these two tasks here. And I want to group them but I don't want to use the sequence container. So just for the design purpose, so I can select both of them, right click and say group. So see, it put them in a container, but this container work different from the sequence container. In this container, if I want to click here and uh, have the presence constraint and uh, want to join with the script task three, I cannot do it. So in this one, this they will work individually. So they, yes, they, they are in the group, kind of thing but they, that doesn't mean that the presence constraint will be on the group itself so they are there for the design purpose so you can uh, kind of create the groups and uh, write your annotation and rename them that purpose it uh, so you, you know easy to read the package uh, instead of uh, hundreds of uh, uh, you know uh, tasks sitting there and uh, hard to uh, follow the flow but here uh, you need to understand uh, the basics uh, con the sequence container has the presence constraint and they will be uh, using that presence constraint to run the next uh, uh, task or uh, container and uh, this group uh, it does not follow the same uh, present constraint actually you have to have connect them individually uh, th thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video